Well, if you spot a break in the clouds over the next few days, once we say goodbye to the rain, you might also notice a hazy conditions. That's the Saharan desert uh, Saharan dust in the atmosphere. The bad news about all of this dust is that it can make it harder for some folks to breathe. It's a journey that begins more than 5000 miles away across the scorching Sahara desert. Strong winds lift fine dust particles high into the atmosphere. So doctors say the dust often mimics seasonal allergies such as coughing, itching eyes and wheezing. While the dust stays, it can create hazy skies and vibrant sunsets. But if it settles closer to the ground, it can also trigger those air quality alerts. Small children and older adults with breathing conditions should always be cautious and limit, it, limit their outdoor activities. And so we want to think about trying to limit the amount of the Saharan dust that you breathe in. So wearing a mask can be helpful. Well, experts say recent rain may help clear some of the dust from the air, but much like storms that cross the Atlantic Sahara Desert, dust, I should say, tends to arrive in waves. So, so even after the round of dust fades, health officials say more could be done on the wave. But Lou, yeah. dust also is a good thing can because be. it can be. Yep. It suppresses the tropical storm develop. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, it's indicative of dry air. Okay. So the dust itself doesn't necessarily uh, directly put a cap on tropical development, but it is very, very dry air. And of course, you know, uh, tropical systems need really warm moisture. Tropical systems are finicky right. creatures. They, they've got to have the perfect kind of uh, combination of all ingredients and Saharan dust kind of puts a cap on some of those ingredients. So this is visible. So you can see that plume underneath the cloud cover, of course, because we've got that going on with us right now. But uh, right over, you know, the Bahamas, Cuba, parts of Haiti and the Dominican, all drifting up uh, towards Florida. So uh, as we look towards Thursday and into Friday, kind of going to see the peak of the dust kind of moving over. You see the Abacos and the Bahamas yeah. over uh, Florida. Now we'll, of course, be dealing with the rain, so may not be as visible with our sunsets. A lot of people are excited about those sunsets. Though. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's yep. the we best need, part. We need some breaking uh, in the cloud cover. So by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, while well, we we'll have some pop up storm potential, those sunsets, you're going to have the better chance of, of kind of seeing that that hazy.